Hi, I'm Nuria Lim, and today I'll be presenting our paper, Multimodal Healthcare AI, Identifying and Designing Clinically Relevant Vision Language Applications for Radiology, on behalf of my co-authors. Advances in artificial intelligence have enabled unprecedented capabilities that may transform healthcare, but identifying clinically relevant use cases for these capabilities remain really challenging. To bridge this gap, HCI researchers called for human-centered participatory approaches to engage clinical stakeholders in early phase ideation and problem formulation. In this project, we had a large multidisciplinary team that involved AI researchers, clinicians, radiologists, and HCI researchers. And building on these um, participatory approaches, we set out to broadly explore the use cases for vision language models in the context of radiology. Um, so advances in vision language models showcase a new set of capabilities such as generating a radiology report based on an X-ray image or visual question answering. So if you type in, where's the pleural effusion? It can generate a response. It's in the left lung base and it can highlight that visually on the image. Um, while these emergent capabilities are impressive, we know little about whether and how these can be useful in radiology workflows. So to give a brief overview, the radiology workflow typically involves a referring clinician that asks for a patient image to be taken. That image then goes to a radiologist who examines the image and describes their findings and summarizes them into an impression such as large left pleural effusion, as in this chest x-ray. And the resulting report goes back to the referring clinician who uses that information to make clinical decisions. Coming from a human-centered perspective, we asked, what are some clinically relevant use cases for vision language model capabilities in radiology? And whether, how, and in what situations these use cases might provide value to radiologists and clinicians. We conducted a three-phase study, starting with brainstorming within our team, followed by concept design and prototyping, and then evaluation with five radiologists and eight clinicians. In the first phase, we conducted several brainstorming sessions. We formed small groups within our team, such that in each session, we had one clinician or a radiologist who brought domain expertise on what would be useful for clinical practice, one AI researcher to discuss if things could be built, and one HCI researcher to lean in on the interaction design. And we discussed several visual, vision language model capabilities, such as report generation, visual question answering, summarization, and so on. And we quickly sketched ideas to ask our clinician team members, what if we could do this? Can you think of a place where this capability would be useful? Uh, we created more than 20 concepts, and then we chose four use cases to further prototype and develop. Um, these were draft report generation, visual search and querying, patient imaging history highlights, and augmented report review. Um, in the interest of time, I will highlight only two of these. So um, the first concept explored draft report generation. Can we provide radiologists with an AI generated draft report? Um, would this be useful? Um, but there were some key challenges. So in their current workflow, radiologists don't type reports. They use speech to text to save time even though there are occasional errors. So they look at an image for a few minutes, they speak, it gets transcribed, and they, they, then they move on to the next one. Um, because there's a huge backlog of images that are waiting to be reported, so they really don't have time to sit there and make edits and corrections on a draft report. So we thought, instead of giving them a fully fleshed out report, can we give them bullet points? so that they can quickly review, cross out the ones they don't like, or add new ones, and that gets extended as full sentences. 
Um, overall, radiologists thought that AI-generated draft reports could save time and cognitive effort, especially for complex images such as CT scans that are outside of their specialty. Um, and interestingly, radiologists seem, seem to prefer bullet points over prose text, especially for findings. As one of the radiologists put it, um, the idea of a narrator report happened in the 1800s and we haven't moved on from it. This is what we should be moving away from rather than using the technology to reverse engineer the future into what we got. So that was really interesting. And what radiologists really seemed to care about was the impression section. So they wanted to remain in charge of that. Um, Additionally, we were curious about like, what if clinicians could access these AI generated draft reports? Would radiologists feel threatened by this? Um, interestingly, radiologists seemed comfortable with the idea of making draft reports available to clinicians as long as the report did not look too final, but was a prelim or a wet read. So they thought these draft reports could be used for triage for clinicians to escalate cases. Another concept was around the idea of supporting clinicians while they're reviewing a report. Um, so providing overview of, of uh, key findings and annotating these visually. Um, here we also explored some chat-based interactions to see if clinicians would be interested in querying things like what are the guidelines for this patient case? Um, and then we also presented an alternative showing these as pre-run queries. Um, the majority of our participants had a preference for tool-based interactions or chat. So they were super busy. Um, so simply they didn't have time to chat with a computer. They rather preferred familiar forms such as alerts and reminders. For example, they imagined that the system could check the electronic health records to provide patient-specific reminders that might otherwise be missed. Finally, some participants were confused about, is this a radiology assistant or is it a clinical assistant? So they thought that the radiology tool should provide assistance specific to radiology workflows, as opposed to a generalist ask me anything type of assistant. Before I wrap up, I want to highlight a few design implications and directions for future research. So moving forward, there is a real opportunity to reimagine future radiology reporting, but we also need to think carefully about which parts can be presented in what form and how the interaction design can be crafted in a way that actually save clinicians time. Another challenge is around setting appropriate mental models. So current AI research literature approaches this challenge as, can we build a generalist medical AI to do a whole bunch of tasks? But our research showed that clinicians expect to have task specific functionality rather than generalist AI assistance. More work is needed to explore how we can situate multimodal AI capabilities in healthcare workflows. And finally, we need to envision better forms for interacting with vision language models. Currently, chat-based interactions are the common design paradigm, but these don't seem very suitable to healthcare. Instead, can we have pre-run prompts that could prefetch contextual information? And what design patterns might work best to surface these? Um, these remain as open questions for future research. For more information on this work, please see our full paper. Thank you.